in my previous video i shared with you all my top 10 christian movies which you should watch in 2022 and in today's video i will be sharing with you my five favorite christian movies which you must watch in 2023 so are you all ready let's get started <music> Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for watching. My name is Ragini and I do upload faith-based videos twice a week. So if you're one of those who loves hearing the word of God, please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. That way you will get notified on time. And in today's video, I will continue sharing with you my top 5 favorite Christian movies which you all must watch. So are you all ready? Let's get started. Number 1 is to save a life. What do you need to know? To Save a Life is one of the best made movies ever, Christian or secular. The movie tells the story of Jake Taylor, the most popular student and game-winning basketball star. Because of his new girlfriend, Jake and his teammates have shunned his best friend, Roger, who saved Jake's life and as a result, Roger walks with a permanent limp. Feeling alienated, Roger commits suicide. A youth pastor tries to help Jake uh, with his guilt, but Jake's family is also falling apart. Consequently, Jake gets his girlfriend Amy pregnant. Jake complains that things have gotten worse since he became interested in Jesus. This sets the stage for a powerfully redemptive ending. This movie addresses some tough topics, include teenage suicide, which is happening a lot, a lot these days, uh, drinking, sex, and drug use. So for all those teenagers, this is the movie related to college students, teenagers, with indulging into all these things. This realistic background makes the story of repentance and forgiveness much more powerful. However, every aspect of this movie builds the case for faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. And that's my prayer for you, that when you watch this, may the Lord touch you, may the Holy Spirit speak to you, and also we all, when we watch this Christian faith movies, it is also sometimes testimonies of people and it encourages us as well. That was number one. Movie number two is I Am Not Ashamed. A real story about a college student who was mocked and scoffed and who was killed because of our Lord Jesus. And the Bible tells us when you follow the Lord, you will be persecuted and all. But this story, this movie is amazing. And at the same time, it's a true based story. So it says, Columbine High School student Rachel Joy Scott grew up knowing the love of God but wasn't always ready to receive it. At times her faith is strong, but at other times she finds that it's at odds with her daily life. After a difficult breakup with her non-believing boyfriend, Rachel finds inspiration from a formerly homeless teen and her renewed commitment to Christ plays out powerfully at her high school and around the world, based on a true story. Number three is sound of freedom now this is not completely like faith-based movie but this is also a true story and it says what is sound of freedom about sound of freedom tells us the true story of tim ballard played by jim Caviezel as a u.s federal agent who rescues a young boy from child trafficking in colombia and this is a true as i said it's a true based story and the actor is jim Caviezel, who played the passion of christ after recovering the boy ballard thought his job was done and that he would be able to go back home but then he learns the boy has a sister who is still being held captive by the same group of cr uh, criminals looking to exploit her for profit and destroy her life torn between his work and his conscience Muller decides to go to whatever lengths are necessary to save the boy's sister he ends up quitting his job and heading straight into the forbidding colombian jungle risking his life to liberate her and there is a period of time in this movie where Jim, Ka Jim Caviezel when he's communicating with the person who does child trafficking and all those things he uses the words from the bible which is from the book of Mark chapter 9 verse 42 which says but if anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble it would be better for him to have a large milestone hung around his neck and to be thrown into the sea so these are the details about christian faith which are in there and this is a true based story which is happening today it's real and it's so sad that children are are being misused and child trafficking it's it's just that we don't see it in the news more often but it's right there and it's happening and i highly recommend you all to watch this movie 
and also pray for those who are in such bondages families children who are uh, kidnapped for such kind of use we need to uplift those families uh, victims in prayer number four is big george foreman and in this movie you will see his life how he grew up and how he grew up with his parents his family his brothers and sisters and then you will see his boxing life his success through boxing and all that and how god touches him while he's playing his boxing game and it says from olympic gold medalist to world heavyweight champion boxer george foreman leads a remarkable life he finds his faith retires and becomes a preacher from a boxer to a preacher because nothing is impossible for god amen when financial hardship hits his family and church george steps back in the ring and regains the championship at age 45 becoming the oldest heavyweight champion in boxing history. So we see that he was a boxer, grew up in a very poor family. I'm not gonna give it away to you all of it, but I highly recommend you all to watch this movie because uh, also, despite of having all the fame and all the money he was earning from the boxing and all, when God touched him, when Christ touched him, when the Holy Spirit touched him and he, he was born again right then in that room, while he was playing his game, it is just beautiful how he was changed. His anger had disappeared. Everything, he became a new creation in Christ and God was leading him to preach and he became a preacher. When uh, he became a preacher in between, he needed financial support, which he didn't have. So he went back to boxing and still glorified God when he won at the age of 45. All glory to our God. Because there are times when you are in a ministry or a preacher or an evangelist and you're struggling with your finances, but nothing is more important than God and he will always provide a way. And he will always make a way, I believe, through your husband, through your um, families, through another jobs, through another things. We just need to ask him to show us the right path. And this movie has really touched me and I pray it will touch you as well. In the beginning, it's all about his lifestyle and his story and boxing and all. But it's very, very beautiful if you watch it all the way to the end. Relying on God, believing in God's power and all these things are very important. And this all we see in this last movie, which is called Life Mark. Life Mark is a faith-based drama about an 18-year-old teenager, David, who has tried to hide the fact he's adopted until his biological parents try to contact him. One day, David comes home and his parents, who raised him, to tell him his biological mother wants to meet him. So Life Mark is a well-made, heartwarming, inspiring movie produced by Kendrick Brothers and Kirk Cameron, who also stars. is a role of a stepfather for David. This movie is solid throughout with a positive Christian worldview. And the movie promotes relying on God, believing God's plan, forgiveness and loving others. There's also a beautiful pro-life message about adoption giving life and the value of life. Don't let the PG-13 rating stop you from seeing this movie. The movie themes about abortion and pro-life issues are the reason the Hollywood elites are giving life marks such a tough rating. So I know that a lot of things we don't see in the news and in Hollywood movies, but this praise God, there are certain cinemas or studios which supports Christian faith movies are also based on true stories, which is amazing. So these are my top five Christian movies which I have watched and I highly recommend you all to watch and if there is anything else you guys are watching currently Please comment down below in the comment section. I would love to know that also if you have to watch any of these movies Please share your views and comments down below guys. I hope these movies will encourage you and uh, Grow your faith help you and your kids to abide in the Lord and do all that you're called to do I will see you all in my next video. Until then, you guys take care. God bless you all and always stay rooted in Christ.